afternoon, Ravens, and welcome to the very first OW Now of the 2018-2019 school year. I'm Lena Satterin alongside Ainsley Heisey. This week, we'll take a look at our Fall Sports Media Day, a special story on Landon Daniel, and your favorite segment, Word from the Halls. Let's get it started. Last Friday evening was a busy night of activities for the Raven Nation. After the opening soccer game against Crosstown rival Olathe East, students moved the party over to ONW for the back-to-school mixer in the auxiliary gym. The event was held in an effort to bring freshmen together and give them a Northwest welcome into the Raven family. The mixer also provided a great opportunity for the freshmen to get exposure to O&W school dances. And from the looks of it, everyone had a great time. Last Friday afternoon in the Flex Theater, our own Sports Information Director class held their annual Media Day for Fall Athletics. Coaches and athletes from each fall sport had the opportunity to promote their team and answer questions about the upcoming season. Let's send it over to Shelby Orton and Savannah Caps for the recap. Last Friday, Ecom Sports Information Director students hosted their annual Media Day for Fall Sports. Uh, so for Media Day, everybody in our class had to write 49 questions, so seven questions for each sport. And then Jay Curl and I made sure that all the players and coaches would be here, along with writing scripts to uh, start off each sport. Um, and then obviously we had to set all of this up, so it was a lot of, a lot of time and effort. As an annual event, SID students have really come to love getting to produce Media Day. My favorite part about producing Media Day is getting to talk to all the players and coaches because obviously in our class we report about these sports all year long. Uh, so getting to hear them speak about their experience instead of just what we can see from the sidelines is really, really cool. Not only does it give our SID students a great experience, but it also gives all sports the recognition they deserve. Um, I think Media Day will give more exposure to the golf team and give girls like something to go off of and yeah also it'll help just people understand what it's really about because a lot of people don't really know like oh it's a golf team but what is it so yeah for ONW now this has been Shelby Orton now back to the desk if you want to watch the replay of media day check out our ONW Raven Daily YouTube channel in today's world news changes rapidly so it's important to keep up to date with what's going on in Kansas City and also from around the globe let's send it to Ramal Nassim and Nina Rice for a look at what's happening in your world Hey Ravens, welcome to the first edition of Around the World. I'm Nina Rice alongside Ramal Nassim. This week we're going to kick things off on a serious note with the recent disappearance and death of 20-year-old University of Iowa student Molly Tibbetts. Tibbetts went missing late evening of July 18th while on a jog around her neighborhood in Brooklyn, Iowa. The search continued for 34 days with a $400,000 reward on the line. Tibbetts' body was found on August 21st in a nearby cornfield covered in husk. Autopsy results from the Iowa State Medical Examiner showed that the cause of death was from multiple sharp force injuries. The case was addressed by President Trump during a rally in Charleston, West Virginia, and has gained a lot of attention on the immigration debate. Tibbetts' funeral was held last Sunday, August 26th. Ravens, as the world mourns over this tragedy, make sure you stay safe and be aware of your surroundings. We end this segment on a more positive note with the story of Roman Dinkle, the two-year-old boy from Olathe, Kansas, who captured all of our hearts with this video shared by his mother, Whitney Dinkle, on Facebook earlier this month. Diagnosed with spina bifida, a birth defect in which a baby's spinal cord fails to develop properly, Roman has gone through an operation in hopes to increase his chance of walking. Many people have reached out to Roman's parents, telling their stories about how Roman has inspired them and given them hope. That's all from us today, Ravens. Thanks for tuning in for the first edition of Around the World. I'm Ramal Nassim alongside Nina Rice. Now back to the desk. This past summer, tragedy struck Olathe Northwest as one of our beloved students, Landon Daniel, passed away in a car wreck. Family and friends have rallied together to remember and honor the king. Over the past few weeks, ONW students have had the opportunity to purchase Landon t-shirts as a way to honor him. Brogan Kivett and Lily Beckwith have the story. July 19th changed the lives of many ONW students. Rising senior Landon Daniel lost his life in a fatal car accident. He touched every single person he met. There wasn't a single person in which he, he didn't leave an impact on. Those who Landon touched chose to celebrate his legacy and impact rather than mourn his passing. I would say the biggest legacy that he left was for everyone to always have a smile on their face, um, to stay happy and to uh, live their life with no regrets because that's exactly what Landon did. His friends and family commemorated his life in many ways, even in areas across the world. Our last day in Paris, we got the lock and it's golden and on the top it says Landon Daniel and then it says long live the king. We found this really good spot and we put that up and that was extremely emotional. At home, many people got involved in raising money for Landon's Memorial Scholarship by purchasing t-shirts. I felt like having school shirts and um, making a design in which that people could wear would be good, you know, just having people be able to carry on his legacy. 
For those who didn't purchase a t-shirt at the beginning of the school year, there will be more opportunities. Yes, homecoming week there will be uh, LD shirts for sale, uh, $20, potentially more than one color. He's the king and he'll be remembered as the king. From ONW Now, this has been Lily Beckwith and Brogan Kivett. Now, back to the desk. Head over to Game Day Northwest with Jack and Jake for a look on the first week of ONW Sports. What's up, Raven Nation? Welcome to the first episode of Game Day Northwest. I'm Jack Clayton alongside Jay Curl. On today's segment, we have updates on tennis, volleyball, and soccer. Let's get started. On Tuesday, the Lady Ravens tennis team traveled to Blue Valley Northwest for a duel with the Huskies. Before the finish of the doubles matches, some severe weather entered the area, canceling the duel but not before doubles partners Jaden Branstrom and Alicia Castillo dominated their match. The duel has been rescheduled for next Wednesday at BVNW. Early last fall, the Lady Raven volleyball team dropped a tough match to Blue Valley North Mustangs. However, the Ravens bounced back from that loss and went on to win state. The two teams recently met again. Ainsley Heisey has a recap. Tuesday night, our Lady Ravens took on Blue Valley North at their home gym. The Ravens fought hard through the first set, not letting a ball drop, but couldn't clinch the game point. Losing the first set, the Lady Ravens came into the second set determined to fight. Senior outside hitter Lindsay Heller had a great game, swinging very hard from the outside and back row. Though the Lady Ravens played hard, they were defeated in Mustang territory and were sent home with a loss. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Ainsley Heisey. Now back to the studio. Next Tuesday, the Lady Ravens have a try at Shawnee Mission Northwest to battle the Cougars and Gardner Edgerton Trailblazers. Last Friday, the Ravens battled crosstown rivals Olathe East for their annual matchup. After a slow start to the game, the second half exploded with action. In the 68th minute, a long kick ricocheted off the hands of John Lindsay and bounced around in front of the goal before finding the back of the net. The Hawks took the lead 1-0, but the Ravens tied up the game a few minutes later when a foul in the box set up a Chase Klusman penalty kick. The boy is a gamer, and then he sported his Landon tattoo to the crowd. Unfortunately, the Ravens' luck ran out when an Olith East cross found its home in the goal off a header from Walker Bond. The Hawks prevailed over the Ravens 2-1. The boys hope to bounce back tonight at Seaback at 5 o'clock against Park Hill South. That's all we've got for game day. For updates on all Raven athletics, check our ONW website and our Raven Daily YouTube channel. Now back to Ainsley and Lena. To finish off today's show, we're going to send it to us for a freshman edition of Word from the Halls to test the new Ravens' knowledge of our school. Let's get to it. Hey Ravens, we're in the halls right now. We're about to get some really good questions out of the freshmen. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Who is our principal? Um, I don't know. <laughs> he's, he's bald. I know who he, guy. I, kept, I, know I, who I don't he, know his name. His first name is Chris. I know who he is. I just don't know his name. Chris McBald guy. <laughs> um, don't know. Zach. Zach. Um, I don't know. Mr. Zuck. When did the school open? No clue. Take Nineteen. 96. Four. 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 Three. It was four. 2004. Uh, August 15th. For us. Okay. Uh, 2003. What was the senior prank last year? Uh, oh, I like, I want to say they dumped ice on somebody or like water on somebody. I don't keep up with anything. I don't know. <laughs> Did they throw all their papers out or something? Oh, bring in dogs and the saran wrap. Do you know who Trippy is? No. I have no clue. <laughs> Don't know. Trippy? Yes! Go yeah. get him! What's the mascot's name? Hey guys, what's the mascot's name? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Mr. Raven. <laughs> I don't know. Ray. Yes! Thanks for tuning in, Ravens. Also, make sure to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily and keep up to date with our new and improved website at ONWRavens.net slash Raven Daily to stay on track with the Raven Network.
This week, we feature one ONW student's journey to walking again. Be sure to check it out. For Lena Saturn and Landon Daniel, this has been Ainsley Heisey. We'll see you next week, Ravens.